say, I want to say that I have compassion. I treat people the way that I think that they should be treated and I treat them the way that I think that I should be treated. That's how I treat other people. I treat people the way that I want to be treated. I know that was like a golden rule or something and that was like super cliche, but it's true. That's how I treat people. I treat people the way that I want to be treated. Um, but sometimes when I say things, they uh, happen to come out mean or aggressive because I'm a very sarcastic person. That's my personality. I'm sarcastic. But my brain is like physically wired to be compassionate. I am the type of person that instead of dying laughing, I run up to someone and check if they're okay if they've fallen on the floor. I don't stand there and laugh at them and like pretend that they're not in pain because falling hurts. I know. It's an irritating when people tell you that you're a mean person or you're rude or you need to quit with how you're acting. I'm sarcastic as a barrier. I pr I'm protecting myself through sarcasm, but that doesn't mean that I'm any less compassionate than anyone else. I cry when someone dies in a show. I cry when someone is feeling fake physical pain in a TV show. It's fake. I know that. But that doesn't stop me from crying because someone has felt the actual pain that it, they're going through. It is. It might be fake to them, but the pain is real. It, it is a real thing that happens every day. I'm obsessed with shows about doctors and how they operate and watching the surgeries and stuff like that, that it's even made me think about straying on my path to become a chef, to become a nurse. It's a real physical pain that people feel. It's real things that they go through. It's real diseases, it's, it's real things. And I'm compassionate about that. I'm the type of person that can feel compassionate for people, that can feel compassion for people that have done bad things. Because a person is not born bad and a person is not born good. It's the things that they go through, the experiences that they have in life that makes them the way that they are. If they did a bad thing, it's because somewhere in their life they screwed up or someone screwed up their life. You are in charge of your own life. That is true. And people say that another person can't influence your life. That's a lie. People influence other people all the time. It's the easiest thing because actions speak louder than words. You can tell someone not to do something, but that doesn't mean that they'll do it. You need to encourage that person with your whole body. You need to have the strength and compassion to get that person out of the rut that they are in in order to ha help them have a successful life and be a successful person. That's me. I am that person. I am the person that puts my entire will into someone to try to make them see the brighter side of things. But no one, no one does that for me. People need to put themselves first before they before they think about anyone else. So when I think that I'm good enough to stand up and help someone, that's me putting myself first. If you don't think that you're good enough to help someone else, you probably shouldn't be helping that person. You have to be fully confident in your influence on that person in order to help them. You can help someone. But you have to know yourself and know that person before you do it. You can't help a complete stranger. Everything that goes on in life has a certain extent, a certain point in order to enter that event. You need to have this much skill, this much experience to absolutely understand everything that's happening in that person's life. You need to clearly understand every aspect of the situation, of the story, in order to gather and collect your thoughts in order to help that person. You can't just go out and say, I'm gonna help you because I know what you're going through. 
you don't know what they're going through. Unless you literally went through the exact same situation and felt the exact same feelings that they felt during that situation, you can't help them. So what you need to do is familiarize yourself with that situation. You need to understand what they're feeling before that before you can help them. You need sympathy and you need empathy. You need to be able to feel what they're feeling and you need to be able to be sympathetic without pitying them. People don't like to be pitied. No one likes to be looked down upon. What you need to do is understand and if you think that you're too close-minded to understand other people's situations, you shouldn't be helping other people.